Hey guys, welcome to The Rachel Cruz Show. So today I want to talk through a few secrets with you that credit card companies would rather you not know. You see, they want you to feel like you need them. And if you spend on their credit card that you're a savvy spender, they will keep you safe and they're here for you because they want you to believe that they are the best option for you. And when you start to believe that, that's when you can wander into debt and you start making them rich off of your interest versus you actually becoming wealthy. So the first secret that credit card companies don't want you to know is that you don't actually need them at all. Mm -hmm, that's right. It is possible to live without a credit card. I get this all the time. People are like, but you like have at least one. Or like I'll talk, talk about social media and like show a wallet or something. And they're like, yeah, because you have at least one credit card. There's no way you don't. It's amazing, you guys. Me and many others out there live life without a credit card. Now I get it. I get the temptation of, you know, signing up and they get us from all these different angles with airline miles and points and all of it. But listen, at the end of the day, what I've learned is mathematically you end up spending more on a credit card. It can lead you down a pathway of debt and you have the bill at the end of every single month versus just spending in the moment. So let's dive in to some of the secrets that can help you avoid the traps of these credit card companies and for you to finally take control of your money. So first up, let's talk about store credit cards. Yep, we've all been there in the checkout line, pulling out your wallet to pay, and the cashier says, would you like to save 15% off this purchase by opening a store credit card? And in that moment, of course, it's like, oh, 15%, I don't know. I mean, I could save a couple bucks. That kind of sounds nice. But here's what they don't want you to know. A store credit card is an incentive for you to spend more money at that store. Mm-hmm. Hear me out. Once you're a card holder, you're going to see all these special deals and rewards, me flooding your inbox and online. And you just think, oh, yeah, I can spend a little bit more. You start to justify, well, it's a good deal and a sale and I get extra off because I'm a card holder. So you start to rationalize and reason with yourself to buy more than what you planned on or what you don't need because you have a store credit card. And they know this, they know the psychology of it. And usually these cards have insane interest rates and they are not a good deal because here's the deal, it makes them more money and not you. So in the long run, they can handle that little percent off because they know you're gonna end up spending a whole lot more, a whole lot more than what you saved in that small percent. So don't fall for it, you guys. You can do this. Avoid store credit cards. All right, the next secret is that you don't actually need a credit card or a credit score to buy things like a home or even rent a car. I know, crazy, isn't it? Yep. It is always said, well, you have to have a great credit score in order to buy a home. But here's what they don't tell you, is if you don't have a credit card, if you don't have debts, you're not gonna have a credit score. But even if you don't have a credit score, you still can buy a home. It is called manual underwriting. Yes, you can be approved through a mortgage without a credit score through manual underwriting. And my friend George Camel, he's done this before. He talks so much about this because it is proven and it is shown over and over again that it is possible. Because it is a little bit of a process because they're gonna be calculating your work history. You have to be current on all of your bills like cable, cell phone, electricity for about two years. So you have to have some paperwork to prove that you, the person, can actually pay for the mortgage. So instead of a computer doing it, they enter it in and spit it out if you can or can't do it with a credit score, they're looking at you, the person. So you actually can get a mortgage without a credit score. And also renting a car. Now, some rental car companies won't do it, but some will. Winston and I, we are planning a trip to good old Florida with our kids. We just got on the rental cars website uh, two nights ago and booked a reservation. And we, we never have trouble renting a car. We never do because we know the company that we use and it works. And that's it. So do some research ahead of time. You may have to bring some required documents, maybe if you haven't used this rental car company before. And I promise it is, it's worth it. It is worth it. You may have to jump through a few hoops, but I would rather do all of that and be spending with my money versus the credit card. All right, the last secret is that credit card companies actually aren't your friend during emergencies. So this is one way people look at a credit card is they say, well, I'm gonna hold on to this just in case there's an emergency. 
But here's the deal. The secret is the credit card turns your emergency then into a crisis. So not only do you have an issue with your car, but now you got your car fixed and now you have a money issue because you used a credit card. And so, you know, it dwindles down this idea that, oh, it's gonna fix my problem in the moment, but then in the future, you're still gonna have a money problem. So here's what you need is an emergency fund. Having your own money. I want you to be your emergency fund, not the credit card. So the credit card is not here to save the day, no. They are, it is sitting in your wallet or in your purse, just in case something terrible happens where you can be that for yourself. You can have money in an emergency fund. So start off with $1,000 for your starter emergency fund, then pay off all of your consumer debt and then bump it up to three to six months of expenses. And an emergency fund gives you the protection that you need. Plus you won't have a bill coming, you know, in the mail a few months later from the thing that happened because you just took care of it. So what all these secrets are pointing to is the truth that you can live without a credit card. And honestly, life is just better without them. You spend less, you spend in the moment, in the present with cash or your debit card, and that's it. So for once and for all, you guys, cut it up. Cut it up. If you really struggle with it, I'm telling you, just cut it up. And here's some ways to help you when that happens. I'm going to stop spending with credits. So if your favorite way of spending money is with a credit card, again, when you cut it up, it's done. It's over. Pay off the balance, close the accounts, and you're good. You are done. Number two, you're going to want to get on a budget. If you didn't know, a budget actually gives you freedom. It gives you a plan. You're able to see exactly the money that you have to spend, and you stay within that. There's an app called Every Dollar. It's my favorite budgeting app. Make sure to check it out. It is free to start using today. So download it, create a budget, and you actually can see how can I live life within my means, here with a plan, which is the budget. And number three is to live on less than you make. And this is where the budget comes in. It's really important because if you're gonna be ditching the credit cards, then you have to be able to have the money to buy the things that you need to buy. And then you're gonna realize, oh, there are some things that I don't need to buy that I haven't buy maybe on a credit card that I really don't need anymore. So it's an amazing thing that when you make really practical decisions about your everyday behaviors and habits with money, it can change your life. Now, if your credit card is like a security blanket for you, you might be kind of nervous to take the plunge. Just trust me, it will be one of the best financial decisions ever. And this is what I always tell people too. If you have credit cards and credit card debt, pay it off, close the accounts, get rid of them, and live life like that for 90 days, four, five, six months. And if you hate it, you're a grown up. You can go sign right back in and get another credit card. Trust me, they will be happy to welcome you back in. So you can always go back in if it's terrible. But I have a feeling once you start living without them, you're realizing, wow, there is a lot of freedom, a lot of freedom in it. So make sure to share this video with a friend who you think would enjoy it. And remember you guys to take control of your money and create a life you love. <laughs>